Good morning, everyone. It is almost 9.30 on May 30th, 2020. Welcome to church. I want to make a short little video here uh, just to show you uh, church uh, one more time before you come uh, to Mass um, for the weekend, for those that will be coming. Uh, and then we'll do our last um, day of prayers for... Uh, Last day of prayers for, uh, for the novena to the Holy Spirit. So I just want to show you a couple things. Um, I'm going to switch it around here and show you the church. So here's the church. Uh, we're getting all things set up for Pentecost. We got some the red banners up. Um, this is where we're going to have the live stream for tomorrow be. So the view for the live stream for Sunday morning Mass is going to be this. Uh, tonight, uh, the Mass is not going to be live stream, uh, which is okay. And uh, tomorrow we'll have it live stream. So there's that. So I just want to show you a couple things before we start. Uh, just a reminder, it's going to be 5 p.m. Mass tonight here in Calmer, And then 10 a.m. Mass here in Calmer. We're doing two Masses to try it out here and to go from there. First thing I just want to show you is that we opened up the windows last night, and it is really nice in here, uh, very comfortable, uh, and we're pretty excited about that. Uh, so that's nice. So I just want to show you what you're going to see when you come into church. Okay, the first thing is that you'll come in is uh, you'll see um, a box at each a box at each uh, door. And what it has is uh, a bulletin, and it has a little hand sanitizer for you to kind of put on if you didn't bring your own. We invite you to bring your own. And then in the um, bulletin is um, all that you need for Mass. So all the hymns are there, all the readings are there, are all there for you. Because there's going to be no hymnals in the church. So don't look for a hymnal, don't look for a, a missalette. So that's the first thing you're going to see when you come into church. So remember to take a bulletin. Then also, if you see, we have a box here for the offering. And you see a little slip here. Uh, we invite you to put your envelope or your cash there. And uh, the offering will be collected after every Mass. So that will be at three doors here at St. Aloysius. You can put any of the envelopes there. We'll get them to uh, the parish that you belong to. Okay? And there are some masks available uh, if you did not bring one. We invite you to bring one. If you do take one of these masks, uh, we ask that you keep it and use it from this point on. Okay. So welcome to church then. So I just want to show one more time how the setup is going to be. So if you see a cushion up, do not sit in that pew. Only sit in pews that have the cushions down. Okay? Um, there'll be ushers to help you uh, get uh, uh, situated on where to sit. And uh, in the middle here of the church, right here, is where Deacon Dan is going to be offering communion. So these three, yeah, these... Yeah, these two pews, no one's going to sit because we want to have one of them be the return for people. Okay. Uh, so let me show you another door. So if you look at this door, here's another offering, offering basket with hand sanitizer and bulletin, and a mask if you need a mask. Okay? So that's kind of how the church is going to look. Uh, it's very comfortable in church here. If we have a nice crowd, there's always the, the choir loft. If we have a really good crowd, we're going to live stream the 5 p.m. mass downstairs in the church uh, common area, the church basement. Um, Yes, we're excited to have Mass. 
Um, you're welcome. Please come. Um, if you're not comfortable coming, don't come. Um, and we will um, live stream the Mass at 10 a.m. Um, yeah, I think that's what's going on there. Uh, yeah, I think that's all I have. Uh, now we'll do our novena prayers. And conclude the novena to the Holy Spirit. So I'm holding my phone, so I gotta might not be as steady as the other nights. Okay, last day. I don't have the prayers up, so you're just gonna have to listen to the prayers today, okay? Okay, let's do our last day of prayers for the novena. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Thou on those who evermore thee confess and thee adore, in thy sevenfold gifts descend. Give them comfort when they die. Give them life with thee on high. Give them joys which never end. Amen. The fruits of the Holy Spirit. The gifts of the Holy Spirit perfect the supernatural virtues by enabling us to practice them with greater docility to divine inspiration. As we grow in the knowledge and love of God under the direction of the Holy Spirit, our service becomes more sincere and generous. The practice of virtue more perfect. Such acts of virtue leave the heart filled with joy and consolation and are known as fruits of the Holy Spirit. These fruits, in turn, render the practice of virtue more attractive and become a powerful incentive for still greater efforts in the service of God to serve whom is to reign. Let us pray. Come, O divine spirit, fill my heart with thy heavenly gifts, heavenly fruits, Thy charity, joy, peace, patience, benignity, goodness, faith, mildness, and temperance, that I may never weary in the service of God, but by continual, continued faithful submission to thy inspiration, may merit to be united eternally with thee in the love of the Father and the Son. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the seven glory bees for the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit. For fear of the Lord, glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. For the gift of piety, glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. For the gift of knowledge, glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. For the gift of fortitude, glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. For the gift of counsel, glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. For the gift of understanding, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And for the gift of wisdom, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Now we'll do the last two prayers um, for the novena. 
The first is the act of consecration to the Holy Spirit. On my knees before the great multitude of heavenly witnesses, I offer myself soul and body to the eternal Spirit of God. I adore the brightness of thy purity, the unerring keenness of thy justice, and the might of thy love. Thou art the strength and light of my soul. In thee I live and move and am. I desire never to grieve thee by unfaithfulness to grace, and I pray with all my heart to be kept from the smallest sin against thee. Mercifully guard my every thought and grant that I may always watch for thy light and listen to thy voice and follow thy gracious inspirations. I cling to thee and give myself to thee and ask thee by thy compassion to watch over me and my weakness. Holding the fierce pierced feet of Jesus and looking at his five wounds and trusting in his precious blood and adoring his open side and stricken spirit, I implore thee, adorable spirit, spirit of the Father and the Son, to keep me in thy grace that I may never sin against thee. Give me grace, O Holy Spirit, Spirit of the Father and the Son, to say to thee, always and everywhere, speak, Lord, for thy servant heareth. Amen. Now our last prayer, the prayer for the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit. And this will be our last prayer of the Novena. O Lord Jesus Christ, who before ascending into heaven did promise to send the Holy Spirit to finish the work, your work and the souls of apostles, of your apostles and disciples. Deign to grant the same Holy Spirit to me that he may perfect in my soul the work of your grace and your love. Grant me the spirit of wisdom that I may despise the perishable things of this world and aspire only after the things that are eternal the spirit of understanding to enlighten my mind with the light of thy divine truth, the spirit of counsel that I may ever choose the surest way of pleasing God and gaining heaven, the spirit of fortitude that I may bear my cross with thee and that I may overcome with courage all the obstacles that oppose my salvation, the spirit of knowledge that I may know God and know myself and grow perfect in the science of the saints, the spirit of piety that I may find the service of God sweet and amiable, the spirit of fear that I may be filled with a loving reverence towards God and may dread in any way to displease him. Mark me, dear Lord, with the sign of thy true disciples and animate me in all things with thy spirit. We ask this through Christ our Lord, amen. Come Holy Ghost, creator bless, and in our hearts take up thy rest. Come with thy grace and heavenly aid to fill the hearts which thou hast made, to fill the hearts which thou hast made. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Thanks for joining me, everyone. I'm going to put this up on YouTube and... um, I'll hope to see you tonight at 5 p.m. Mass. Um, Be patient and open, and let's have it be a great celebration of Pentecost as we pray for the unity of the Holy Spirit to take control of our minds and our hearts and our country. So God bless you. 5 p.m. tonight, 10 o'clock tomorrow. Peace. Come Holy Spirit.